Alright guys, welcome to the Wreck of Maria Doria. This is level 8 of the game. And in, in this level, um, this one's a little bit longer and more challenging, but it's a very fun level. I'm going to come in here and there's going to be a frogman. So I'm going to get some harpoons. I guess what I can do to make this easier, because the harpoon gun honestly kind of sucks. Uh, the timing is off, the accuracy is off. So sometimes you want the frogman to come to the circus if, surface if you can. Alright, so I'm going to come down through there. I'm just going to not bother killing him this time. I'm going to proceed on. I think if you can avoid killing an enemy, you should. Now, in th this next part of the level is quite treacherous. Um, there's a reason they're giving us a large med pack on this part, because we might need it. When we uh, come down here, there's going to be some breakable tiles. I'm going to save the game. Alright, so now what I'm going to want to do is slide down. We're going to take a long fall after these breakable tiles. That's going to take away most of our health, so I'm going to take a large med pack right away. Then I'm going to pull out my M16 because we're going to get ambushed by a couple of thugs down here that are going to spawn. They should spawn when I step on this next tile. Yep. And they should leave some goodies for us. Alright, so we've got a med pack. And then this next guy over here should have some automatic ammo. Alright, after that, there's a secret that we want to get. So, if you can see, there's this little hidden passageway up here. We could come up. And then we want to get out our shotgun. Because I believe an enemy is going to spawn up here. Man, that guy was tough. And then to the other side of this, we'll drop down, and there's our stone dragon. We've got uh, one of the three secrets, and then um, we can't get around, we can't go out those doors, so we're going to, and we spawned another guy with a shotgun, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of this guy. And then we're going to go back out. Man, it gets kind of dark up here. So, there is uh, a way to get through this level that's fast. If you guys have unlimited med packs, there is a, a fast way of doing this, which will cut you through at least two-thirds of the level, maybe even more like three-quarters. But I'm going to take the long way for you guys, because I prefer to do the complete run. So, how there's these movable blocks, uh, this part is going to take time. So if you guys want to, you know fast forward a, a minute or two that's fine or if you want to watch exactly how I clear this out you can so there's two ways there's uh, one path through here and then there's a path to the right and then that path that I was just on there's not really anything in there that's just storage place that's just uh, storage space for us to push these blocks that we don't need We can push this bad boy down here, and that should make room for us to um, pull out some of the others. Now Laura um, is going to pull this block out. Now there is a space behind her, but what happens is if she pulls it, it would crush her, so it won't let her move it that way by pulling it, it would only let her move it that way by pushing it.
and then we should uh, make as much room as possible so I could go ahead and push this in and then what I can do is pull out this block when I pull this block out uh, first it's gonna cut off that path so I want to keep pulling it and I believe now we've got access to both paths so I'm gonna go ahead and save my game and then I am gonna pull out my Uzis now once we come up here we're gonna spawn a couple of enemies Alright, so now, um, there are two ways we can go. We can go that way, or we can go this way. I'm going to start going this way. What we're doing in this part of the game is looking for three circuit breakers. It looks like uh, there's a switch in there. And in a later part of the game, there's these three burners that we need the circuit breakers to cut off. So, um, we need to find them. So there's a key here that, that we need to uh, open up, I think, those doors. And we would have access to other switches. Um, let's see if I can remember. So there is one of our three circuit breakers. There's two others. And the way we want to go first is the other p path that we cleared with the blocks. So when I come up here, I'm going to go ahead and save my game. And then I'm going to venture forward a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my Uzis because we're going to have... I have another fight when we come through here. Yeah, we spawned a guy behind us. Uh -huh. Let's see what goodies these guys have. Oh, large med pack. Alright, so I can hear another enemy. Looks like he's up here, so I'm gonna try to take care of him while where I can where I can. Alright, there. Yeah, that guy could be shooting at me, which I don't want. So over here, uh, we want to be careful of the glass. I'm gonna go ahead and take a small med pack. And I'm gonna save because this part can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So there's a little hole that we want to go down through. And then we can look down there. What I can do is back up and run. And then she'll fall right in. And then here is a key we need. We're going to come back this way. And then we're going to jump forward, come out. It's too bad she can't crawl. Uh, one new feature that Tomb Raider 3 had was that we could crawl, we, and not just uh, on the ground, but there were spaces that we could climb up and, and crawl through in that game. That's a new feature of Tomb Raider 3 that we didn't have yet on Tomb Raiders 1 and 2. So I really liked that. Now, it looks like the key that we have is the restroom key. It seems pretty funny that we're trying to get into the restroom, because I just don't see how getting access to the restroom would help us access three circuit breakers, but whatever, I didn't create the level. Alright, so we're going to come over here. 
and put this key in. And then that's going to access a switch. And we get to enter the restroom. And then we want to pull out our Uzis right away because we're going to spawn a guy. And uh, when we open those doors, we have access to this switch. Um, we would have been able to get that circuit breaker, but when we opened up those doors, we, we closed off the path from that way and that way. So uh, if we were on this side here, and we wanted to get the circuit breaker that's over here, we would have to close the doors and come around from that side. So I'm going to hit that switch, and that's going to give us access to another part of the level. So what I am now going to do is save the game. Alright guys, so now what I want to do is go to the next part of the level. Actually, what I'm going to do first is come back here and close those doors so when I come around, I'll be able to access the circuit breaker. And then I'm going to go out this way. And we're going to run through this area. And we're going to turn left. We're going to go back to that room where we were before. But this time, we're going to try to access the floor above us. And I believe there's a tile that uh, angles up a little bit. I think if we go to this tile we should be able to jump up to the floor that's above and that should give us access to this uh, this other area. What we're gonna have to do on this part we're gonna have to back up, hang from the ledge, and shimmy to the left. Looks like the guy that we previously killed when we were in this area had some automatic ammo, so I'm going to go ahead and equip that. Uh -huh. Or not equip it, but pick it up. Then we're going to come through here. And then... Um, it looks like there's a key that we need, but we don't have it yet. So we're going to come this way. And I'm going to start by opening this door. Let's see what it gives us access to. It gives us access to a room. I'm going to go ahead and back up, hang, because I don't want fall damage. And we get access to this room. Uh, if you can see, there's a switch there that we need to pull. And uh, we can't equip switches in the air, so what I'm going to do is move this block. Moving the blocks takes time, so feel free to skip ahead if you don't want to watch this part. Now I'm going to push the block. Keep pushing it. And then I'm going to pull it. Then I'm going to come to the other side because if we pull it, we'd crush Laura, but Laura will not allow herself to pull the block if it would crush her or push her off an edge. So what I can do now is I'll have access to the switch, and that switch is going to open up a door above me. And I'm going to pull this other block. Oh, good thing I caught myself there. So I think that's the door that the switch opened. That's where we came through. And this is where we're coming out. And here's a new area. And I'm going to go ahead and save the game. Here's another door that I believe we want to get open. But what we're going to do first is go straight. There's going to be another guy that spawns when we come up here, so I'm going to pull out my Uzis. 
And then there's a new room down here. So there's another switch that we want to get. So you guys are probably thinking that to access this, we would have to move another block. So we're going to pull this block one space. Uh, and then what I would need to do, as just as I did before, is go to the other side of the block and push the block to where we would have access to the switch. And oh look, it gave us access to another key by moving it. I never thought for one second I would find the key there. So I'm going to push this box in, and I'm going to jump up and pull the switch. Oh, come on, Laura. I, I believed in you more than that. Let's see what this switch does. That switch is going to open up that door. And if you can see, that's where we were before. We don't want to go back through that door. But I believe we've got this way to the to the left, and then the key should open that other space. I'm going to take a look at what's in here. It looks like we have access. But I don't really see anything in this room. This is probably just a storage room or something. But uh, what we would need to do is use our key. And we're going to have access to this new area. I'm going to go ahead and save my game because I don't want to do all that again. Alright, so now we come into this new area with movable blocks. We're going to pull this block out. And then what we're going to need to do is pull this block in this way. And then we'll go to the other side and push the block in. So by pushing that block there, what we did was we created an extra space that we could use uh, to pull this other block. So we need to pull this block out one. And we need to pull it out one more space so we have access to that passageway. So. We wouldn't be able to pull the block onto that block, but what that block did do was allow us to pull it to a space that we wouldn't have been able to otherwise, because like I mentioned, Laura cannot pull the block onto a tile if it would knock us off the ledge. So what it did was it gave us access to this other block that we're going to push in, and when we push it in, that's going to give us access to this passageway to the right. So... Um, this next part is dangerous, so I'm going to save the game. So these tiles are breakable, and when I come here, some rolling barrels are going to spawn. I need to jump to avoid the first set, and then I can also avoid the second set. Now what I can do over here, because this is where we find the Jade Dragon, I'm going to jump hang. Now when we look that way, we look up there, and there's rolling barrels. So the second I come up, uh, it's going to spawn them to roll, so I'm going to back up and run in and Laura should avoid them and then she's gonna come up and behind where those rolling bolt barrels were is our jade dragon so I'm gonna equip the jade dragon or no pick up the jade dragon and run off the edge and I'm gonna run to the right And I'm gonna equip my I'm gonna go ahead and equip the automatic pistols this time and take out this shotgun guy. Oh come on, the guy with the shotgun, you don't have any shotgun shells. Alright, before I drop down there, I'm gonna go ahead and come around here. Nope, nothing here. So what I'll now need to do is drop down under this boat. Then go under the water. 
and there's a door here. I don't, I don't think I can get that from under the water. But let's see. There's, ah, uh, here's a lever that I can do from under the water. And that's gonna open up that door that's above me. So I'm gonna then come up. And then we're gonna grab that ledge. Uh, not that door, but yeah, this is the one that we need to come out. And that should give us access to another switch. Alright, so when we pulled that switch, we're in here now, and there's only one way out. What we'll need to do now is save the game, because this next part is tricky. There's going to be sliding. We need to slide. Just uh, jump forward, back flip. If we do it long enough, eventually it's going to close, like right now. And then what we'd be able to do is come up through here and have access to another switch. And then that's going to open up uh, access to another room. So now I'm going to drop down and jump up this way. And I can hear some of those guys. So I know there's some guys that I'm going to have to fight. So I'm going to pull out my automatics. And take out the shotgun guy. Then we're going to take out this guy. Now there's another one of our circuit breakers. So what I would do first is come over and hit this switch. That switch is going to uh, take down a trap door. I suspect there would be shortcuts to get around that, but I'm going to go ahead and play by their rules. And I'm going to come where the trap door was. All right, I'm going to save the game because I don't want to screw up on this. Save my game. And then jump through there. And now I've got access to one of my circuit breakers. And I guess that uh, caused the trap door to come back down, but now I'm going to press this other switch. And that's going to drain the water out of that room with the boat. You know, a little rowboat or whatever that is. So I'm gonna head back over there. I guess there's no way to get the water back in. Alright, so what we need to do is find a way to get back at. Alright, so when you step on this tile in the corner, it seems to trigger that hatch to unlock. Let me see where it is exactly. Okay, so it's over there. Now what I need to do is run this way. climb out. Alright, now we're going to go back through this way that we came in. So, there was another door that opens with a wheel that uh, you would only be able to access if it's on land. You wouldn't be able to access that type of switch from underwater. So, uh, it's going to be a little bit more dangerous to do the drop now. Uh, that It's drained out. The fall is a little bit further. So, Laura's going to take some damage on that. I'm going to take a small med pack. And now I'm going to open up this door.
and come up this way. Alright, so you see there's a couple of different doors here. There's that trap door there. And there's one there. And then I believe we would start going this way. So I can see that we spawned a couple of guys to show up in there. Looks like we still have access to that same switch. No, we want that one open. And we go through this passage and come down here and we're going to fight these thugs. Oh, come on. Harpoon ammo. It looks like. Alright, so let's see now. We've got two circuit breakers. It looks like there's one more. I think I missed one earlier. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is backtrack a little bit. I'm going to save my game. Alright, so now I'm going to go back through this way. I'm going to take a large med pack and go up this set of steps and then drop down. So as you can see, we're back in a room that we were in before. This is where we're going to get our final circuit breaker. We're going to run and jump and then get this uh, last circuit breaker here. This is the same room that we were in earlier, where we took that guy out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save the game now, because now that we've got the circuit breakers, we can then get access to the final section of the level. Um, nope, not that way. Or no, it's this way. So, this is the area where we first dropped in through those breakable tiles. Like, if you want to take a look up there, that's where we first came in. We found the stone dragon over there. And now we're going to go this way, jumping into that pool of water. I'm going to get that med pack. There is a frogman that's down here. I'm going to go ahead and avoid him. I'm going to come up here. There's going to be a lever up here. That's going to open the hatch above. The underwater levers can be a little annoying because they do take time. But um, they give you more flexibility as to where you can position yourself to access them. Now what I'm going to do immediately is equip my M gun because we're going to have some thugs to fight over here. Yep, the end gun is quite powerful. Well, like I mentioned, it doesn't allow as much flexibility as the Uzis or automatics do because we can't jump or do flips or move around while shooting. We have to stay in position. Alright, so there's these three circuit breakers. Uh, the shortcut that you could use if you have unlimited med packs 
is that you probably know when you catch on fire, her health will slowly drain. But there's this movable block over there that you would have to pull back. So if you had enough med packs, you could pull that back on there. The block would cut off the burner to where you could then come on top of that. And then if you had enough time, you'd then be able to come over here and get into the water. And then come back on top of the block and jump up there. And that would cut through about three quarters of the level, at least two thirds. But I'm going to go ahead and do it the way they want and cut off the burners. So we cut off burner one, burner two. And burner three. So we pull the block out. All right, this is where we need to position the block. So now I'm going to jump on top of the block. And this is going to give us access to a little control room up here. And there's going to be a thug up here, which I want to take care of. I'm actually going to get out my Uzis for this guy. And let's see what that guy had. Nope, nothing. What a cheapskate. So I'm then going to pull this switch, and that's going to rotate some of those uh, platforms that are over here. That makes it to where we can jump across. I'm going to save the game because uh, I don't want to have to redo that stuff I did. Alright, so I'm going to back up, run, jump. Alright, then let's make sure we're on the edge. Back up, run, jump, pull up. Some of these jumps are quite long, so you have to be precise. Alright, let's walk to the, the edge. Back up, run, jump, action. And last but not least, we got this one. I think we can make that one just standing. I'm going to save the game again. Uh, this next part of the level is honestly a little bit scary. So there's this like cabin area. It's real dark. Uh, this part used to really creep me out. I was afraid to play in this area. There's going to be a barracuda in this water. And let's see what's around here. There's some harpoon ammo. We get to hear that awesome soundtrack again. There's going to be a couple of thugs. I'm going to take care of this guy with just my standard set of pistols. He's going to give me a med pack. I'm going to use... Let me see what I got. It's funny, I got more large than small, so I'm going to use a large this time. That's going to give me health. Alright, so we can see there's that switch. Uh, we can't pull it yet because we would have to uh, move a block. Well, actually... No, we can't pull it back because you see there's a step there, and because pulling the block would push Laura off that step, it's just not available. Um, in this area, this is a pretty scary area, there's a tank through there. Um, there's sharks in the tank. There is not one, but two sharks in there, and there's a key. There's actually two sharks. I don't know where the other one is, and then there's that key. And there's several barracudas. So this part just used to scare the bejesus out of me. Uh, it's, still, it's still very creepy, but um, I think I can handle this. So... Um, 
I think I've had a, I've spent enough time looking at the sharks. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to open up this room. And that's going to give me access uh, to a room with a switch. And this this next one is timed, so I have to hurry on this. So that's going to open up a door. So I'm going to roll and run. It's better to jump as you run. We need to make it through here. And then we get through here, and we have a set of flares we can pick up. But now we've got this movable block, so what I can do is push in this block, and then it's going to give me access to another switch. And then I pull this switch, and it's going to open that trap door to that underwater area. Um, if any of you have stood on top of the trap door, uh, what's the shark can, believe it or not, bite Laura through the trap door. So, uh, I don't recommend standing on there too long. Alright, I'm going to save my game before I do it, because this next part is really going to take a risk. This is also the part where we get our final jet, our final secret. So there's the barracudas. And up here, we're probably going to see the sharks. Yep, there's one of the sharks. There is a second shark up here. What I'm going to do now is go this way, where we're going to find the secret, which is up here. Uh -huh. Nice, so it looks like what we got is more grenade launcher ammo and then we got some automatic clips yeah we're doing quite well I'm gonna go ahead and save again cuz the main thing we need to do is get the key so we're gonna swim down we need to avoid some of those dangers whoa oh holy holy crap man that bite did some major damage alright there was one of the sharks over there here's our key I'm going to go ahead and take a small med pack. Yep, there's two of the sharks. Yep, yep, there's two sharks there, not just one. Alright, so what I'm going to want to do is swim this way. I honestly think this one is easier than that one in For the Fathoms where we had to get the Jade Dragon because. Uh, since the underwater area is much bigger, it gives you more area to uh, get away from the enemies. You're not trapped in as confined of a space, which I feel makes it much easier to uh, get in and out with what you need. So I believe now we have our cabin key. I think we are going to use our cabin key somewhere right around here. Yep, right here. We're going to access this little cabin room. And then we're going to access this switch. I don't know what this switch is going to do exactly, but... Uh, yep, access another trap door. Oh, now I see what that switch is going to do. Because how we accessed a trapdoor, it was to an area that we could technically get to before. But by doing it, um, that gave us an extra space to where we could drop down and then push this movable block to where we could then have access to that switch above. And then we could pull the switch above. And then that's going to open up a, a hatch above. So, I believe I now want to come this way. And 
And now I'm going to save the game again. Alright, when I, we come over here, there's going to be a couple new enemies. I'm going to use my automatic pistols on these guys. So I can see Laura's aiming for me. Looks like we killed somebody. Oh, we killed the frogman. Kill shotgun guy. All right, so we killed those guys. So now, I'm all right, so from this point, we should be able to uh, come down, stand on that tile, and then we're gonna go and pick up whatever goodies they left us. So let's come around and see what they dropped off. I hope they gave us something good. We got a small med pack. And then there's some M16 ammo. So now what we're going to do, we need to look and be careful. Okay, we can come down here. There's a second frogman that we still haven't taken out. And then there's, there's like a little hidden swim way. I believe it's on the other side of these barrels. We have gotta avoid his harpoons. I'm gonna try to wing it out till the next level uh, because every time we start a new level, we regain our health. There's gonna be some eels down here. We wanna avoid them if at all possible. There's gonna be another eel up here. And then we, we keep swimming this way. We should reach the end of the level right around here. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please stay awesome and have a wonderful day. Uh, please subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you so much.